welcome back to uh, WFF 48 Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. You're standing in a home. I, I can see that it's a home from behind you, but I understand it's really totally destroyed. It's it's pretty much destroyed. They're going to have to demolish this home. I spoke with the homeowners. They didn't want to come on camera. They're still very shaken up about what happened here yesterday afternoon. Fortunately, no one was in the home at the time. They were all at work. I'm out here at the same subdivision I was a few minutes ago. Earlier, we were outside showing you the massive oak trees that were just slammed to the ground by the tornado that moved through here uh, sometime between 12:30 and 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Wind speeds, I would estimate, 80 to 90 miles per hour. Uh, one of the things we like to do when it comes to severe weather and going out after the storms have moved through is to make sure where we tell you to go during severe weather coverage is really the safest place in the house. So if you were in this house watching television and we were saying you need to get to the lowest floor, this is the lowest floor, and we also tell you to get to the smallest interior room that you can, perhaps a bathroom or maybe a closet. Let's check out the bathroom of this house here, and then we're going to show you some of the other rooms. Right in here is the bathroom, and as we look in here, you can see everything here is completely intact even the ceiling, so a well-protected room here. And the reason we tell you about these smaller rooms is because they can handle heavier weight on the top of the home. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this interior closet down here. There's a lot of debris out here. There's a lot of damage in these other rooms, but as we take a closer look into the closet, barely can get it open now, but you can see had they used this closet as a shelter, they got a lot of blankets in there, but this would have been a safe room. Now to the unsafe room where your kids might be sleeping. Take a look at this bedroom here. What do you guys think of that? That is amazing. Okay. We've got all of this debris that has fl flown around in this room and, it, and the structure itself didn't collapse into this room but this one it did. So could you imagine in the middle of the night if you don't have a weather radio, you don't have a way to get weather information, a tree crashes on top of your house from a tornado and you're trying to sleep and all of a sudden that exterior wall breaks down and the tree falls on your house. So that is why we tell you to get into those interior rooms. So as we go back out, we're going to show you the outside of this home. You've seen the inside and you can see why they're going to have to demolish this house. There's uh, insulation everywhere, the boards, and eventually the houses that get water like this, eventually there's really no way to salvage it because it's going to be full of mold. Here's the entryway and you can see up here the skylight the tree has made. This is a very large oak tree that is on top of this house. So it, it's just amazing that there were no injuries in this neighborhood. And again, one of those is probably because nobody was home in these areas. But as we come out the front porch, you look off to the left and you see the branches at the top of this tree. And we're gonna, just gonna continue to come out here and then show you a look back at this house. As we go out here into the front yard and we look back, a massive oak tree. In fact, it looks like two oak trees perhaps fell on top of this house. And one look back, I know we're gonna be looking into the sun just a bit, but this is a very large tree. So you can see just a large tree in the back of your house, how much damage that tree can do. So it looks like in this case, the bathroom and that interior closet were the safest place in this house. It's nothing like seeing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, we say it all the time, we tell people, but when it you isn't. actually go and you show how that one little closet, would, you know, had it's they been standing. in it, it's still standing, and, and they would have been they That been just fine. reinforces it. It just reinforces it when we're on the air. It's like, we know what we're talking about. We know if you're in inter that interior room, it's gonna be the safest place in the house. Now, some of, the, some of this video you see of these potential EF4, EF5 tornadoes, it's a different animal, but, but fortunately around here, we're not always faced with these types mm -hmm. of storms. We're faced with the lower end type tornadoes, and the biggest threat we've had up to, to yesterday has, has typically been the trees on homes, and that's exactly what this is, or the trees on the mobile homes, and that's why you've got to get out of those mobile homes, because this house is barely supporting this large tree. If this would have hit a mobile home, it would have crushed it completely in half. Very Absolutely. good advice. Thank you, Brad. Uh, let's go now.